my friends, this is more of a like rambly type video. I don't quite know where I'm going with it yet. I just really want to film it. I was thinking about it yesterday during church and then last night. And now I've just combined those two ideas. I tried to write stuff down, but it doesn't make sense. And I do this thing where I get excited and I write in cursive and then I can't read it. So it really offers me a lot. Okay, I don't want to call this video like overwhelmed with blessings because that sounds super like not right. But I think what I mean by that is like when we get overwhelmed by like we feel like we can't handle all that the Lord has put on our plate and is like you're gonna do this and you're like but I can't get there. Example, changing my major. I am now behind, not behind, but there's one prereq that I didn't take this semester that disqualifies me from taking all these other classes I need to take. If you know anything about teaching majors, basically your entire senior year you're like working in a public school like teaching an actual class. So you kind of are actually like done with your like in school schooling junior year. Um, so like this screws me up because I can't take all of these English classes I need to take, but I can take these teaching classes and like it just seems like a lot and then I can't have a minor anymore and then it's like ah and then it's like ah commitment and then it's just like a lot of ah. So it's like overwhelmed in the sense like I am not competent enough um, and yesterday this is like so petty um, I woke up really angry because I saw in my work app that they switched me to the highest level of pre-k and I like love the kids in my pre-k class right now that I'm in and like I was just like oh my god I'm not capable of talking to like four to five year olds like literally like the kids I have now they're not even they're pre-k but they're pre pre pre-k so they're like Two, they don't really talk they just kind of like cuddle with me and I'm like anytime I'm around five-year-olds I literally do this I'm like I don't know what you want from me like you're too little to want to just play play-doh but then you're not big enough where you don't want to play play-doh and now we're yelling at each other but we're not yelling you're just crying at me and you're five and you're really large so I don't know what the what the math equation is and then their parents are always just like actually wanting them to learn and I'm like I'm literally like 19 years old I can teach them colors that's all I got and I was like really mad about that and I texted my boss and I think it's gonna be fine honestly I don't think they'll end up moving me up uh, we'll see in two hours but I think it will actually be because then I was just like I'll go younger because I like babies, not actual adults. Anyway, as I say, is I'm gonna be a teacher, whatever. Let's move on from that. Um, basically, then I went to church and there's that song, I don't listen to it enough. It's the, um, run into your arms, the da da be enough. Life is really about Googling the run into your arms Jesus song and seeing what comes up. Oh, okay, okay. It's called Hillsong Forever Rain. There you go. And then it's I'm running into your arms, the riches of your love will always be enough. Nothing compares to your embrace. And then it like goes through like you are good, you are good when there's nothing good in me. I felt really nasty the last week just about like my personality and stuff. Um, you are peace, you are peace. There you go goes in the running to your arms, holds tobacco, you are more, you are more than my words will say. Just a bunch of good stuff and it really, really hit me in a place and I was like, shoot, I am the worst basically. Um, like who am I to say that he isn't competent enough basically. Um, and then the other thing I thought was really cool was if I'm reading the um, year in the Bible, I don't actually need to say an actual verse for this. I'm reading year in the Bible, I'm not doing one second a day this year. Decided to do year in my Bible is my year thing, and um, the I'm reading through Deuteronomy right now, and basically like every time he talks to them, he's like, "The Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt." Like literally every single you'd think like that was like that God's name was the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Like you would think that was his first and last name like as one big sentence. Um, but it was kind of funny. I've literally LOL'd. I love LOLing in public. Um, and then saying LOL out loud. Today's a mess. I'm wearing my Melly dress. That's how important today is. Um, but anyway, you'd think that was like literally his first and last name, but like he continually says that because like we need to be reminded that he is enough. And so to them, like they're dealing with all this stuff right now and it's like, oh my gosh, yeah, like he brought us out of Egypt, this will work too. You know, like he brought us out of oppression, this will work too. He brought us out of this slavery, this will work too. And like 
the people just need to be reminded over and over and like we need to be reminded over and over because we are no different than them like we constantly need to be reminded and that's why it's so important to go to like church and worship and like engage in community because like we need to be reminded like they need to be reminded then and like we might even need it even more with every other distraction that's going on um so I don't know, I just think it's funny because you like read that so many times in the Bible that you're like, okay, that's God's first and last name. God, the one who brought you out of Egypt. Like you'd literally think that was their first and last name. Yeah, and it's just funny like at times when you don't feel competent enough, whether that's like your relationship with God or relationship with other people, like how he sends people. Like I literally was like in a coffee shop the other day and I was wearing a Young Life sweatshirt and like I just talked to someone about how I was feeling like literally just like so bland and like like, not that I felt unnoticed, like, I felt like I was, like, not noticing, like, Jesus in my life at all, and then, like, this rant, I'm, al I'm also always the person that sits next to someone on the airplane that wants to talk to you, that's a whole other story, but, um, anyway, this story, the, this guy comes up to me, and he's, like, so I was wearing a nice sweatshirt, so I started talking about that, and then, he, like, he was with his family, so, like, I left him alone, I went to do homework, and he came back up with my friends and I, and just, like, affirmed me in the fact of like what I was doing with Young Life and like ministry was important and it's like really cool how he sends people like randomly throughout the day to like do that kind of stuff when like you need it the most and then he like talked about how he was like a missionary and stuff and it was just like cool like a random coffee shop run in with a sweet old man named Don like what um, but also I'm always the person that sits next to the person who like talks to you the entire time on the airplane it happens to me every single time and sometimes it leads to cool conversations, a lot of time people can't grasp, like, so, like, I'll tell them the why way I'm thing just to see what they, like, their response is, and, like, sometimes, like, the guy on the plane the other day got so stuck up on the fact that I went somewhere where I didn't know anyone, he, like, couldn't get past that. I was like, his name was John. I was like, listen, John, we can work past it. Last time on the way back um, from Charleston, I met this guy who has, like, six sons in Colorado Springs and wanted to set me up with one of them. I was like, listen, like, I have a boyfriend. I don't need this. And, like, he, like, used to be in the church and told me about how he, like, stopped being a Christian. Like, I'm, it just always happens to me and it's like really cool that it continually happens and just is like once again like a reminder because like we constantly need to be reminded like literally I need to be reminded to eat lunch so like I need to be reminded of like the important things even more so I think that's all I had for this video um it's just kind of like a little update you know the usual things for my grandma